YouTube. This is Gothic King, Coffee video chill with our video. It's coffee, it's um, Dunkin' Donuts and chocolate milk, it's delicious. Now the problem with the mainstream, in general I should say, is that there are certain certain type of people who can't stand it. I mean, they're not like that in any way whatsoever. So what they do is they try to rebel against the mainstream, <clears throat> try to be different. Create their own style, their own look, just because they fuck the mainstream, just says, you know, stuff like that. And the problem is, is it catches on with the mainstream, and then they make it trendy, so that person, or a group of people trying to do this, people think, oh, they're just following the trend right now, you know, it's typical mainstream, right? That's the problem with the mainstream is that you cannot literally create your own trend and do something different because the mainstream will catch on to it and make it trendy. So when I say fuck the mainstream, I'm doing it because, because I'm rebellious. I'm saying really literally fuck the mainstream. Fuck it. Because quite honestly, <clears throat> you can't be different or rebellious anymore because it's now trendy. Because whatever you do becomes popular to the trendy crowd and they follow it and it makes you look like a conformist asshole when you're not. When you're the one who started the trend to begin with. <clears throat> That's your typical, typical goth and emo and whatnot. It didn't used to be as popular as it is now. You know, the mainstream makes it popular, you know, and people think, oh, we're just following the trend, you know, bullshit, okay. <clears throat> and being goth in this modern day and age is a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what. <laughs> because to the untrained eye, I look like any other conformist asshole following the trend. I'm not. I'm actually trying to be different. <laughs> yeah, right. But basically, that's your mall core goths. They do it to piss off their parents and to say fuck society and they have no core goth beliefs. And you have people like me who do it because it's who they are. You know, I mean, I shop at Hot Topic because they got stuff I like. But. Hot Topic has got to be the biggest wannabe goth sellout store in the entire freaking universe. Oh my god. It's pathetic, really. <laughs> I go in there to buy an Aussie shirt, and lo and behold, next next to the Aussie shirts are Justin Bieber shirts. I'm just like, oh, dude. It was bad enough when they were selling out to Katy Perry, High School Musical, Lady Gaga, and Twilight, but now they're doing it to fucking Justin Bieber. And Hot Topic, of all places. Where I assumed that what's your goth's name was go to shop. Some do. They just kind of, you know, say, fuck the posers, posers and shop there anyway because they got stuff they like. I'm one of those people. So, again, it's really just kind of infuriates me and amuses me at the same time. The fact that the mainstream can't just be normal and leave the weird shit to the people who actually are weird. Like, people like me, for instance, you know? They have to try, they can't just think of their own damn thing. They gotta like, copy what everyone else is doing. So, in short, the mainstream is just a big corporate industry, a bunch of fucking cocks sucking sell out bastards who can't think of an original idea. So, yeah, they have it. Fuck the mainstream. In fact, fuck Justin Bieber, fuck Katy Perry, fuck Twilight, fuck High School Musical, fuck Lady Gaga, fuck the Jonas Brothers. Fuck the mainstream. Again, I'm not saying this to be edgy, I'm saying it for real. Fuck the mainstream, because it's really ridiculous. Um, and to the untrained eye, like I said, they don't, they can't tell a mall core goth from a real goth. So, let's just assume they're all the same. And it really does not matter. But there's a time when you could tell the difference between a real goth and a mall core goth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, we saw a biker drive down the street covered in tattoos and this big old ape hanger Harley Davidson. You thought he was so cool. But now tattoos are a trend. I mean, so basically to rebel against the norm of society, you dress normal, act normal, don't get a tattoo, and don't get piercings. But then the trendy mainstream makes that trendy, and now everyone's doing that. So it really kind of is an unescapable bunch of bullshit, really. So, yeah, fuck the mainstream. Fuck it. So, real goss, I guess. We got United as well, just kind of say, fuck the mainstream, keep doing what we do best. You know, because it is kind of frustrating to see this, you know, we started as our own version, I guess, of a style to rebel against the anti-norm of society, become trendy. And originally, goth didn't start us becoming trendy. It used to be a thing where you could tell that person was goth and that person isn't. But now, the goth style is trendy. It's bullshit. So I got a message to the mainstream. Fuck you, 
invent your own goddamn thing and leave the weirdos to their own weird shit instead of using it as your own corporate sellout, cocksucking motherfuckers. For real, okay? It's bullshit. It's, you know? You know? So rather than create their own style, they just find some unpopular style and make it popular so people who are doing it to be different are now feeling like total assholes because now everyone's doing it. Basically, the chick that made fun of the other chick for having a certain look is now wearing it because it's trendy and that chick goes, what two seconds ago you were making fun of me, now it's trendy, what the fuck? That's basically the whole scenario of it all. It's people get made fun of for dressing like this, you know, eyeliner, nail polish, whatnot, it's now trendy. So, yeah. You know, running half naked down the street could be a new thing for rebellious teens, and then, <clears throat> lo and behold, the trendy mainstream makes it trendy to do that, even though girls do that anyway. But that's beside my point. My point being, I should say, is that, um, uh, fuck the mainstream, because they're so unoriginal. And people who try to be original and create their own style, like goths, emos, punks, scene, you know, it becomes trendy. And to the untrained eye, it becomes a thing where they can't tell the difference between a wannabe, a poser, and a real life person. So yes, being a goth in this modern day and age or you know, is kind of just literally kind of frustrating. But <laughs> can't do a goddamn thing about it because as soon as the next thing's trendy, you know, trends come and go. So that's that's the good thing about it, I guess. You know. I bet you every biker out there right now sees all these preppy bastards walking around with tattoos are thinking, why the hell did we get this shit? Yeah, we thought it was cool when we were their age, and it was cool at the time. It actually stood for something, but now that they're doing it, they're just doing it because it's a trend. Oh, fuck, I need a tattoo remover, you know? So, yeah, you ever want to ask a biker how you feel about tats and try to get punched in the face? Be like, no, no, dude, before you hit me, just, just hear me out, okay? How do you feel about today's generation making tattoos a trendy thing? And their response would be, fuck that shit. We did because it, it meant something to us because we were cool. But now all these fuckers are doing it and it just makes us disgusted that we had these effing things anyway. So, yeah. So even if you were not to get tattoos, piercings, whatever, just try to be your own individual self. You kiss that goodbye because as soon as the trend catches on, everyone will be doing it. So, yeah. That's kind of the unfortunate thing about the mainstream is you can't do anything cool or rebellious because it'll eventually catch on and the mainstream will fuck it up for you and everyone think you're just a conformist asshole so yeah fuck the mainstream fuck it so what are your thoughts on the mainstream let me know in a video response or a comment section or whatever i really don't care i'm just saying my opinion because honestly lady gaga's trying the whole i'm weird and different thing you know and she's not the first musician to do it, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, Marilyn Manson, Danny Filth, um, you know, Ozzy Osbourne. All amazing musicians and we're all originators of the trend, if you will. Not really a trend, but the style, I should say. So, yeah. Fuck the mainstream, just fuck it. What's my guitar playing before I end this video? It's going to be one of my shortest videos because I need to get in the, the habit of not making such long videos where I ramble about nothing and then play some awesome guitar. Because quite often, people on YouTube don't have time to sit down and watch a 14 minute and 59 second video about nothing and then the guitar playing in between. So, I'll try to get better at keeping my videos short and to the point so that way you're not bored, bored in tears listening to me ramble and bitch and complain. <laughs> you know, but check out the ring. <laughs> I'm goth, one. And for two, that because I'm gay or a flamer or, or a transvestite. I'm idolizing my favorite rock stars on stage. You know, that, that moment they're on there that their life can suck at one point, but when they're on stage in front of millions of people, screaming their names, cheering for them, that one moment of, fuck all the, the shit that before, this is the moment, this is now, living for the moment, like you're on stage, a light shining on you saying, fuck the world, I'm doing what I'm gonna do to be me. So, yeah. That's why I wear eyeliner. <laughs> Oh, don't wear it at work, because I know better. Um, I do wear my nail polish at work, but I always wear gloves, you know, just as a safety precaution, because nail polish does chip off, because I don't want that shit in, in the food, you know. If I was a customer, I saw someone with black nails, I'd be like, dude, I wouldn't judge them for it, but I would hope that they're at least being sanitary and keeping that shit away from my food. So, yeah, and even my 
puts a work it did ask me to wear gloves I'd do it anyway because I'm sure I wouldn't want black nail polish on my hamburgers so yeah <laughs> I don't know, I think about getting another tattoo on my other arm right here, a nice gigantic cobra. I don't call them tats or ink, I call them a, a fucking, it's a tattoo, it's not a tat or an ink. It's just a fucking preppy thing to say, fuck that shit. And a cobra, because I like cobras, it means something to me, not because it's trendy, you know what I'm saying? So, again, fuck the mainstream. And, um, you know, and I'm trying to get my music out there, you know, I'm trying, I'm, I, you know, I'm getting piano lessons to get better at music, and, you know, that's paying off, I'm getting pretty good on piano, and I'm one of those people that has the ability to, with the musical ear to pick up on stuff and find on the, on the piano, basically. And without knowing how to read music, I can play some pretty wicked, wicked stuff on the piano, I mean, I'm playing out just random whatever, you know, the music flow through me, and... It sounds pretty good, and it's nothing, it's nothing famous or popular, it's just me playing on the piano, you know, it's nothing trendy or popular, it's just music, it's just me playing on the piano, and it sounds pretty good. And I really don't know how to read music, so yeah, I'm one of those people that, that picks up my music really well, I'm actually very musically inclined, very musically inclined. Now, if you want to know more about my music, check them out, my CDs are available on iTunes, it's called Dark and Days and Blood Cemetery, the links are on my About Me page, on my home, YouTube homepage. I'm working on a third CD called The Highway of Life, and when I get that done, I'll post it and make a video of it. Because I have a feeling once my music does take off, I'm going to be pretty big. You know? I really do. And I look forward to being a famous musician. That's, what, that's my goal in life, actually. My dream, really, would be to play OzFest with Cradle of Filth and Ozzy Osbourne. That would be, like, the coolest thing ever, wouldn't it? <laughs> that, that, that's actually my dream right now. And you get my dream house built. I actually drew up plans for my dream house on a piece of paper, and I'm going to build it when I get the money. Now, my dream house I have in mind is a Second Empire Gothic Victorian mansion from, like, 1884. You, you know, the master of cupola tower, clock tower, bell tower mix. Just really cool looking. Um... I can show you what the plans for it anyway. <coughs> uh, yeah, just... Keep an idea what I'm planning on building, just you know. Okay, this isn't really one of my short videos, but I, need to get, I do need to get better at keeping my videos shorter, but I don't really care at this point. This is what the front's gonna look like basically. My symbol on the top, you know, clock tower, bell tower, makes my room, you know, just yeah. Floor plans on the back, you know. I wish I had more than one bell. Right now, I have one bell planned for it, but I actually want maybe four bells. I don't know, but. Being a famous musician would definitely give me the money to build that dream house of mine. And if I do make it as a musician, I want to donate money to the Cancer Society and help find a cure for cancer. Because this no longer be dangerous. How sweet would that be? People would be like, put that cigarette out, you're giving us lung cancer. It's like, fuck you, I donated $10,000 to the Lung Cancer Society. Because literally, if cancer was cured, tobacco no longer be dangerous. We could be 106 and smoking four packs a day and it'd be as healthy as an ox. How cool would that be? <laughs> Oh well, you know, keep living the life, I guess. Someday my show will take off. But until then, this is Gothic King Cobra 52 with another video. All my guitar playing, why not check out my channel and see what you think? This is another video that I just made for the fuck of it, because I really don't care. <laughs> Thanks for watching.